Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at recreating the Lomography effect. Now I'd highly recommend you having a look at Wikipedia and looking at Lomography to find the origins of the uh, the effects and the techniques um, and the origins were very much based in film uh, but if you have a quick look at Google uh, Google search you'll find that it has inspired a, a whole plethora of beautiful imagery. Um, so we're going to be looking at recreating this effect uh, on this particular image here. The first thing we do is add a curves adjustment layer, add three points, and we're going to create an S-shaped curve to um, up the contrast. So we're looking to really enhance that image there. Now we're going to look up here at the uh, the channels, and we're going to go to red, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to be adding three points and increasing the contrast, uh, but this time just in the reds. Once again, the same will be done to the green, creating an S-shaped curve. And then finally to blue, but this time with blue we're going to be going the other way. So we're going to be uh, lowering the contrast so the S-shaped curve will be uh, very much inverted. So you can play around with that until you get the, the colours that you desire. We're then going to uh, apply a gradient map. So by clicking on gradient map, um, you can actually make adjustments to what kind of colours you have. Uh, but we're going to keep this not quite, quite simple. Uh, so if you go to blend mode here and you play, change your blend mode to overlay, you'll find that you get quite a nice mix there. If you then drop your opacity, you'll be able to adjust how strong um, that gradient map is. If you turn the eye off here, the visibility will see what kind of effect you're having as you go, which is often quite, quite useful to look up. Now we're going to select our bottom layer now, and we're going to un unlock it. So clicking on that lock there to unlock. And then down the bottom left here, we're going to go to the Quick Mask tool. And we're going to select our brush. Now we want your brush to be about this size, and you want it to be nice and soft. And then we're going to paint around the edges, because we're going to create a border. So about, about that size should do nicely. Then clicking on Quick Mask again, you'll find that it's created a selection. Then select your Marquee tool. Right click on the image. And then go to Layer via Copy. That's created two separate layers here, and we're going to be working on the uh, bottom layer. So now we're on the bottom layer, we're going to uh, create a, yeah, a, a new layer style. Um, so I'd like you to double click on that bottom layer, and then go to the color overlay, change the color swatch to black, and then change the, uh, the blend mode to overlay. And then finally, change the opacity to get the desired effect. If I hold down Alt here, I click on the visibility icon on this bottom layer so you can see how we started, how we ended up. So there you go. Have fun with the technique and see you again next time.